the whole block less than we, a guy driving a truck hit a anyway knocked down a whole bridge and the whole block four lanes of the highway we con consecrated i mean excuse me consecrated <laughs> well there you go <laughs> what's going on party people what is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Thank you. Thank you. You guys ready to know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? Man, remember when Donald Trump was running in 2016 and even in his presidency, he had said something about his daughter, Ivanka. And he said something like, you know, if he was single, he'll date his daughter. Or something like that. I don't think Ivanka would do that inside the magazine, although she does have a very nice figure. I've said that if Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. You know? <laughs> Stop it. Oh, it's so weird. And the media went crazy and tried to label him as a perv, as a as a creep. And they made stories and articles of how he touched his daughter's waist and all this. So they made a big thing about uh, uh trying to say that Trump and Ivanka is an item or something, some, some creepy like that, right? And they kept putting stories and stories and try to make him look like a bad guy. So now, a few years ago, Tucker Carlson had did an expose about one of Biden's kids, his daughter, Ashley. And Ashley was a troubled child. She was in a halfway house. And she left one of her diaries behind. The diary left behind. Somebody picked up the diary, read through it, and sold it to uh, James O'Keefe, Project Veritas. So Tucker got, got a hold of it, and he put out a story on Fox. And I think this is why one of the reasons why he um, he left Fox, because it was so inflammatory. Um, The details in the diary was so creepy. Let's hear him say it. Once again are the words from Ashley Biden's diary. Quote, I have always been boy crazy, she wrote, hypersexualized at a young age. I remember somewhat being sexualized with a family member. I remember having sex with friends at a young age. Showers with my dad, probably not appropriate. So Ashley Biden wrote in her diary that she remembered times when her father took showers with her at a young age, 12, 11, 12 years old. Now. What? So, but nobody's reporting that. Nobody reported it. Everybody said it was a lie. The poor lady who found the, bi the, who found the diary, Ashley Biden's diary, she's doing jail time. They say she stole the diary. The whole time, the media has been covering for Biden, saying it was a lie. It's not true. Today, Ashley Biden gets on record and confirmed that it's her diary. So now who's lying? Who is lying, media? But yet nobody's still covering it. And you can still corroborate the story because Ashley and her brother, Hunter, was texting each other about the things that happened in his or her lifetime. Who's lying? Yet nobody is covering the story. The only person that covered it was Tucker. And again, Fox News lies, right? Now, if you are the father of daughters, ask yourself, is there any explanation for that behavior that is justifiable? And there's not. It's sick and it's horrifying. Now, Ashley Biden doesn't say how old she was at the time she showered with her father, but obviously she was old enough 
to remember doing it. Inappropriate showering with your own daughter? If that's not child molestation, it is definitely close enough to justify a police visit. But he comes out and he was the first one that says who put the story out and the media cover for Biden. It's the same as Hunter Biden's laptop. When it came out, oh, it's a lie. Once again, Tucker Carlson is the one that put it out there. And instantly, the FBI still has that laptop. They claim they've been investigating it for years now. They've done nothing with it. And while the feds kept the laptop locked away, Joe Biden told us with the back of the intelligence community that it was all Russian disinformation. We are in a situation where we have foreign company countries trying to interfere in the outcome of our election. His old, own national security advisor told him that what is happening with his buddy, well, I, won't, I, shouldn't, well, I will, his buddy Rudy Giuliani, he's being used as a Russian pawn. He's being fed information that is Russian, that is not true. So to be clear, at the moment that Joe Biden was telling the country from the debate stage that that laptop was, quote, Russian disinformation, the FBI knew perfectly well that it wasn't because they had it. And they knew it wasn't Russian disinformation, as anyone who looks through it for about 15 seconds knows it's real. And they knew that. It's a lie. It's Russian misinformation, Russian disinformation. It's Putin is doing this. And then comes later, after the election has been settled, quote unquote, been settled, they confirmed that it's authentic and it is Hunter Biden's laptop. Yet still no story. Her diary, his laptop, and Joe Biden, and it, the media still covered for him. It's so bad with Biden. Now, I mean, he's been a creep for forever. One of his secret services, uh, it was a female, and she left the Secret Service because, again, Biden used to walk around naked or skinny dipping in the middle of the night. She wrote about it, and his other Secret Services has corroborated with her story. So he's been sexually harassing the secret agents. He goes around touching young girls inappropriately, smelling their hair, doing all creepy shit, and yet... You still focus on Donald Trump. Anything that Joe does, oh, it's this crazy old Joe. Oh, he's losing his mental capacity, so he gets a pass. he been doing this for over 30 years. Ever since he was in the Senate in the early 70s, he's been doing this. And now the media is still covering for him. It's pathetic. This is why nobody listens to the media. Nobody. We have all these independent media out there. They are more credible than ABC, CBS, CNN. We got more independent reporters out there that are covering the story. Shout out to you, Tucker Carlson and others alike. And you ancient corporate media, you're done with. We see the, we see through the bullshit now. Anyway, if you guys got any value on my content, do me a favor. Hit the like, hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you reporters, get your ass off my lawn. <laughs>